Hello and welcome. This time we're going to talk about uh, modern computers. Yeah? What things are implemented to make modern computers faster than their back in the days computers. Yeah? I said there was the Intel, uh, there was pretty clear this, it was the Intel 880 86, x86 architecture. This was basically this was the von Neumann architecture. Yeah. And there was the, from Motorola side for instance, the 68000. Yeah. This was a Harvard architecture. Yeah. I think. During the time, yeah, this, the, the, the limiting thing in the beginning was the central processing unit, this ALU and so on. This watch was much slower uh, than the memory. Uh, so it was no issue. The von Neumann architecture was no issue. But during time, this was much more severe. This get much more severe because the, the transfer rates from memory increased by 10% uh, and the calculation power of the CPUs increased by 55%. Uh between 1986 and 2000. Uh, so the memory was the limiting factor. So the modern computer needs to, to, to somehow overcome this von Neumann bottleneck. Uh, how is this done? Uh, one possibility is the so-called caging. This means the memory is the memory, uh, but inside, very close to myself, I have so-called cache memories, yeah, which will hold the data which I will use in next time. Yeah, and, then and I can access them very fast because the memory size is not that big, so it can be smaller data, uh, address buses and so on. It's, it's faster yeah, because it's closer, it's faster. Yeah. Uh, this is caching. It's a, it's a, Basically, it's a copy of the main memory inside the central processing unit. Yeah. Right now, computers, we have up to three cache levels, yeah, which will always be faster and try to get the data which is uh, needed, likely needed in the next steps. Because actually the CPU cannot know what is happening next because it does not know the program. Yeah. But it will... It is guessing yeah, which things are copied in the cache yeah, and how good this guessing is working depends a little bit on the program. Yeah. Also the write back is done via cache. So this means the write back is we, we are not waiting for the memory to write it back. Yeah. We're writing back in the cache and this write back then is done handled with some external logic yeah, which is not really in the computer which is handling the cache handling. Yeah? There is also the prefetch. Yeah? This means the prefetch tries to copy things from the main memory to the cache memory which will be needed and the write back will be done also not synchronous with the calculation of the ALU. Yeah? All things speed this up. Yeah? Like I said, main thing here is the cache. In modern computers, the cache takes half of the chip size. There's the half of the chip size is memory. And also, in, in modern computers, this memory, this is usually uh, based on the Harvard architecture. So there are different caches for data and program. So what is going on there is really, really complicated and a lot of know-how is located in those parts yeah yeah and i already mentioned pipelining yeah. pipelining means not only one command is executed yeah. uh, let's imagine i'm fetching a command in the in the control unit i'm decoding this command and then it's executed in the alu when it's executed in the ALU, the control unit, nothing has to do. And to overcome this, yeah, there's a pipelining. So this means 
Fetch is one step. Decode is one step. Execute is one step. Write back is one step. And all those steps, they are done in parallel for always the next command. So first command is coming to, is fetched. Then the first command is decoded. When the first command is decoded, oh, maybe show it, yeah? First command, fetch. Yeah? This is fetch. Decode, execute, and write back. Instruction number one. This is fetched. Next cycle, it is decoded. So there is instruction number one. And instruction number two, which will hopefully likely be the next, is already fetched. Then, third cycle, decode that the instruction number one is executed. Yeah. And instruction number two is decoded. And instruction number three yeah, is fetched. Yeah. This means I do not have to... Every, every step has always something to do. It doesn't need to wait. Yeah. This speeds things up. Yeah. Pipelining, this is called. What could happen if that here during execution we realize Hey, I should not have this, then I have to flush the pipelines and start over. Yeah? But up to then, I'm faster. Yeah? Then, in worst case, I'm as fast as I would be without pipelining. Okay? Tuk, 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 and so on. Yeah? Then there's also the possibility of multiple cores, yeah? so not only one arithmetic logic unit, but more, uh, can calculate, but then I have to take care about race conditions. I explained this, yeah? if two are manipulating the same data and so on, and then the outcome may be undefined. Yeah? So there needs to be mechanisms who take care that the data is exclusively operated by one of these cores. Yeah? So this maybe means that one core needs to wait for the other core, and this is why a two-core system is not twice as fast as a one-core system. However, it's faster. And the, 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 the numbers which are mentioned, how many consecutive uh, or how many uh, commands can be processed in parallel, these are more theoretical nature, meanwhile. Because we are numbers of 2,000 arithmetic commands or something like this uh, in parallel. However, you see, if there is a jump or something like this, we have to flush and so on. And this is the limiting factor simply. Yeah? Not the commands which can be processed in parallel, uh, the structure of the software. And this can also be optimized. Yeah. So this is how actually, how modern day computers try to, to generate more result. Right? So we have the cache, which is basically the memory on the chip, yeah, on, the, on the CPU. We have the prefetch, which tries to copy things into the cache, which will likely be used. We have the write back from the cache, that the write back is not directed to the memory, but to the cache, and then uh, we will be written back from the cache controller, yeah. Then we have this pipelining and multiple core. These are techniques how they want to speed up things and how they are speeding actually the speeding up things. Yeah? Since seventy years, they're speeding up things. Yeah whole technology, yeah, whole field of technology. Next time we are going to talk about uh, these CPUs, yeah, these commands which are understood by the CPU, mm -hmm. how this is working. 
for this time. Thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.